Welcome back friends to the GIS station channel. Today we are going to learn how to convert multiple GPX files into a single GPX file. And also we are supposed to convert the single GPX files file to shape file and also on a KML file. And we are going to use the software which is uh, one is Basecamp which is open source software. Another one is QGIS which is also an open source software. Another one is Google Earth Pro, which is also a open source software. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the tutorial. So, we are back into our file explorer. As you can see, I have some files containing multiple GPX files. So, the first process which I am going to show is in Basecamp. So, first of all, you need to open the uh, software which is Basecamp and this type of interface you are getting and the simplest simplest process is that just drag and drop your px containing folder you don't need to uh, select all the files and drag into the uh, base cam you just need to drag the folder containing all the gpx files simply just click and drag into the Basecamp software and make sure you have to release the uh, mouse button left mouse, left left mouse button in the my collection folder okay and by releasing your folder instantly you can check all the gpx files are inserted into Basecamp within a uh, folder that is our sample gpx this one okay now we have to export the gpx uh, multiple gpx files into a single gpx so we need to export the folder only we don't we don't need to select all the file and then go, uh, go to file and export we just need to uh, select the folder which containing all the files and then go to file and then export export the folder which is sample gpx and now we have to select the output location i am going to Choose the output location. Okay, this location and give the file name. Here you're supposed to change the file as GPX, 3db, CSV, KML. And uh, for the timing, I'm going to leave it as it is. Now click on save. By clicking on save, you will see the single GPX file is saved in your desired location if you open the software you can check all the files are there okay now we are going to open all the files in qgis i have already opened my qgis platform okay. to remove the layer and if you write in your coordinate location if you write world instantly a uh, world vector map will be added on your qgs platform okay now we are going to add the merge gpx file this one is uh, this this one is our gpx file we are going to add this and from here you are supposed to select the tracks only if you want to add the points as well you have to select the points and tracks both but for the timing i'm going to select the tracks or tracks only click on ok and close it to my area of interest this is my gpx layers and I, if if you check the attribute table you can find all the all the all the all the gpx files separately as a feature layer okay and now we are going to merge all the gpx files in qgis so for that you need to add the separate gpx files in qgis select all the files okay now click on open and click on add and click uh, and select the tracks only for all the layers you have to select the tracks only we don't need the other track points and all that just select the tracks 
okay as you can see i have added all the all the single tracks in my qgs platform and all are separated separate you can say all are separated layers and i'm going to merge all the separated tracks into a single track so i have to go to process under uh, toolbox to, to search for merge vector layer here it is smart vector layer open it and from the input layer option you have to select i have to select all the layers except the world map okay this is uh, this is a vector layer we don't need to uh, merge it with other tracks we leave it and we, we have to select all the track and click on run okay remove it as you can see i have added all the single track into a merged layer which is i'm going to name it and if we check the attribute table we will find the same okay these are the two processes by which you will get your merge gpx file for your any uh, work purpose okay friends thank you for watching and do subscribe to my channel and also share and do comment your likes and dislikes and what type of video you are uh, want to see in my uh, channel okay thank you for watching Jai.